going on, my good people? I get asked this question all the time, and that question is, what is BGOE, Black Gun Owners and Education? Well, first and foremost, BGOE is a black gun club, a black gun organization. Basically, we're looking at strengthening and empowering black owned gun ownership and also normalizing it. We're trying to get rid of all the negative stereotypes that come along with seeing black folks with firearms. We're trying to get rid of all the negative fears that black folks have carrying firearms and being in possession of firearms legally, all right? So let's make sure we get the key terms out there because some folks are going to try to, you know, but legal firearm ownership in the black community. That's our whole focus. We talk about training, and of course, BGOE, the E stands for education. We talk about ownership and education. Those are two big, two big um, factors when it comes to BGOE, black gun ownership and education on top of that. Now, when I say that we're a black gun club, basically we have chapters across the US. We have a chapter right here in Jacksonville, Florida. All right, Duval. Y'all know, anyway, <laughs> we have chapter in Atlanta. Great shout out to all the folks up there in Atlanta, my girl Ira, everybody up there doing big things up there in, in the Atlanta, Atlanta area. We have chapters in Los Angeles. Yes, Los Angeles, California. Shout out to my man Brian Mack. Great things you're doing out there. And I know folks, calm down, calm down. I know you're like, wait a minute. There's a, they, they can own guns in California? Yes, they can own guns in California. It's very restrictive and they and, and they have to be very selective in what they can and cannot do, but there is gun ownership in the great state of California. We also have a chapter up in Delaware. All right, my man Aaron Hairston out there doing his thing with uh, my man Carl Book, Booker out there. Hey, good job, guys. Keep that Delaware chapter up and moving and keep stuff moving forward. We have chapters up in Omaha, Nebraska. We have chapters up in uh, Tulsa, um, I mean, yeah, Omaha, Nebraska, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, I mean, we got folks making things happen in these other areas. We have a chapter up in, up in Upstart chapter in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now we have a, we, we have a chapter up in Seattle, Washington. The Hellfighters, man, my man Chris Rhodes, good job out there. They had a great range day um, recently and they did an outstanding job. So. Hey, salute to the Hellfighters up there in Seattle, Seattle, Washington. Great job, guys. Keep doing your thing. We have upstart chapters up in North Carolina. We got chapters, another chapter that's getting ready to start here in Florida, in Gainesville. Got to give a shout, shout out to my man Eric Baker for, for, um, for making that happen. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep making things, you know, making things move. You know what I'm saying? So, also, gave, also, we have a chapter up in the Buckeye State, Ohio. Hey, got to give a shout out to my big sis, Denise Hunt, doing great things up there in Ohio. Keep pushing. Hey, she's, she's been doing a lot for the 2A community and making things happen, and and I just got to definitely give a shout out to um to see something in Ohio making stuff happen. So, Alabama, another um, upcoming chapter. Philadelphia, upcoming chapter. So, all that to say is this: BGOE is a black gun club, and we're all, we're a black gun organization making things happen. We're doing our best to, 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 to challenge and change it. And another big question we always hear, and this one is gonna probably strike a nerve with some people, but I gotta say it. We hear, oh, black gunners in education. What if there was a white gunners in education? You guys would call us racist and so forth and blah, blah, blah. So you guys must be a racist organization to call your organization. Let's stop, stop that, all right? First of all, if you're trying to reach a certain demographic, and you need to let that demographic know that hey, we're here for you. You you market something that's gonna that's gonna draw their attention. So automatically, black gun owners, of course, is gonna target <clears throat> target the black community. That's who we're trying to reach. That's who actually needs needs that kind of education and and knowledge within this 2A community. Hey, everybody else has it on lock. We're trying to get there. We're trying to enforce and instill in our people that they have the same 2A rights. Even though years ago they probably, you know, years ago we didn't, we do now. So let's embrace those rights. Let's push it forward. So please stop with the, I, I see it in the comments sometimes. People say that all the time. Oh, what if I started white gun owners in education? Da, 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 da. So stop it. Because first of all, you wouldn't have to do that, okay? Let's be, let's be realistic. Let's, let's, let's use logic in our thinking here, okay? You don't have to do that. Who predominantly are farmers in the U.S.? Hello? This is, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. You wouldn't have to, you know, do market that way unless, unless you were trying to be, uh, you know, be racist in the 
ever in your terms, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that knows what I say, oh, so you can do it, but we can't stop. Just stop. We all know what it is, okay? Let's be realistic about it. And I gotta give a shout out to the folks that always come up to us, you know, our, our, our white counterparts. They're like, man, you know what? We're so glad that you are out there doing this, you know, that you guys have this organization, you know, because we feel that minority, minority gun ownership is, is, you know, isn't where it should be and so forth. And I'm like, man, that makes me feel good to know that people can see what our vision is and what we're trying to do. So in a nutshell, I had to put that out there. So if you have any further questions or concerns, there's multiple ways that you can actually reach us. You can reach us on our website, which is www.bgoe-llc.com. All right, you can reach us on the website. You can reach me directly if you like on my email, j.howell, H-O-W-E-L-L, at bgoe-llc.com. And guess what? You can also give us a call on our BGOE phone, which is 385 BGOE LLC. Once again, 385 BGOE LLC. And guess what? We might not be there to answer it right then and there because we all, of course, have regular jobs. <laughs> but we, we, we definitely get, get to you, you know, when we can. So make sure you leave a message, your name, number, message, and, and we'll definitely get back to you. So, so look. I just wanted to clear the air because I, I get tired of hearing that all the time. You know, it just really gets on my nerves to have to hear such negative things about something that's trying to do something, about, 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 about us trying to do something positive. It's always folks that try to, you know, put a negative spin on things that are not as, 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 as they would like them to be, all right? So anyway, just had to bring that to you all and clear the air. And hopefully, like I said, what's the concerns? I've told you how you can actually get in contact us and reach us, okay? If you don't have a chapter in your area, reach out to us. We are looking to establish chapters across the U.S. So, hey, contact us. Reach out and let's make it happen. All right? All right, y'all. As I always say, I look forward to seeing each other at the gun range one day, and I mean that. So let's make it happen. Peace out, y'all.